and welcome to an inbox review of this kit from Academy. It's the uh, 148 scale Tom Hawk 2B Ace of African Front. Um, uh, nice to uh, Tom Hawk in desert colours there with a kangaroo on the fuselage by the looks of it, shark's mouth. Some nice shots of the uh, completed aircraft on the side. This side, safety instructions in many languages, and that's it, it really. Um, it's been made in Korea, copyright 2019, but I, bet, I think it's a bit older than that, to be honest. So, instructions one, two, Bags of plastic, transfers, that is all this, tools you might need, warning, read the manual carefully, yeah, I suggest you do that, so, um, we'll have a look at the fuselage and the glass first of all, when I find my knife that is. Okay, so you got your fuselage halves there. Recess panel wise, nice and thick, nice and fine. Got some uh, ribbon on the tail for the fabric covered tail. I'm sorry about the washing machine, but life goes on. <coughs> got uh, riveting on the engine panels and on the wing. Uh, Panels on the inside. We've got a bit of detailing for the cockpit there. Both sides. Oops. Rather nice. Does it say what year it's on? No, oh, it's a P40. I can't remember. I can't remember what it, what model it was, but it's a P40. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. The glass looks pretty clear, but I'm not going to get it out of the bag to be honest. Because um, I've got things on that I won't be, not mind, be building it for a while. So. Get the next bag out with the two big springs. And the trees. So on this spring, got the propeller, very nice. Um, aerial cover, wheels, pallet seat. Probably something to do with the uh, spin of them. Two different types of P tour. Don't know what they are. Uh, you got your tail plane with the nice fabric detail there. Nice cockpit, um, dashboard, instrument panel. Uh, looks like you get two parts for the tail of the plane on the carriage open and closed. Oh, you get a gun sight there, that's cool. Aerial, uh, the wings as on the fuselage. Got very nice, fine panel lines. No riveting on here though, and well, you can see that the ribbing on the ailerons is very uh, fine, subtle. So on the um, blind side, again with the tail planes you get more detailing on the uh, fabric covered ailerons. 
Oh, you get some uh, machine guns there. You actually get some impressions of cooling barrels. Cooling barrels, yep. And we get to the other part. So your propeller blades there, so you can make them separate. Don't understand that, but we'll have a look at the instructions. Undercarriage parts, nose intake, uh, the exhaust stacks, and they're not hollowed out. You'd have to drill them out, I think. Give that a go. More undercarriage parts, the nose, and the lower wing. And this again has fine uh, recessed details, the ribbing on the uh, ailerons is very subtle, very nice, I like it. So on the blind side, it's just, there's not much to see really. So, <clears throat> and then you've got the decals or transfers as I like to call them oh wow they're glossy they feel a bit thick they're made by classic graphite huh? so they shouldn't give you any problem whatsoever um, you got some kill markings as well Italian aircraft as well as German mm. And you can't beat a you know you can't beat a desert tomahawk, can you? <clears throat> I'm struggling to get them back in there, so I'll, we'll do it after. <coughs> Excuse me. Instructions. So I'll read this before you begin. Uh, you got paint callouts there, in. GSI Krios, Life Colour, Umbral, uh, Testers, Enamel or Acrylic. No, no, I don't know what I'm, I think I've got some Vallejo Desert Colours. It's a fold out shoot. So, so, so you start off and you build it with a separate. Uh, propeller blades, which is all right about me. I'm not, but uh, you know, it's. Uh, but I'm not happy about putting it onto the air, onto the fuselage so early on in the build. I won't. I don't think I'll be doing that. We'll have to have a look, see how that goes in. And uh, yeah, so then you've got the uh, seat going into the fuselage. <coughs> More parts onto the fuselage. Gun blisters there. There we're going on later on, you know, the exhaust uh, and canopy. Yeah, I'll be putting that on. Uh, building up the wings, undercarriage, and that's about it, really. And then you've got your colour call outs. <coughs> Jack Pyatt, I love 112 Squadron, Egypt in October 41. Uh, Clive Caldwell, left flight lieutenant Clive Cal Caldwell. 250 Squadron in Libya, November, December 1941. And this is the one I'm going to be making, I think. It's uh, Neville Duke's aircraft, pa pilot officer Neville Duke. 112 Squadron, Shark Squadron, November 1941. Yeah, that's. I think that's the one I'll be making. Or it might be the one underneath as well is uh, Neville Duke as well. He's at shot down 27. And he was 19 when he became an ace on the 30th of November 1941. So, oh. so yeah, it's going to be either that one or that one that I'm going to be making. And then when you get on here, uh, sprue shots. And that's about it. You don't get much potted history about it. I don't think you don't, I didn't see any. So, there you have it.
Academies 148 scale, it's on Hawk 2B. Yeah, I'm gonna build that one. I <coughs> don't know when it'll be. Uh, can't wait. And I hope you like the video, Mike. So if you've been watching, so if you watch this uh, video, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you if you would please like it, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe as well. So this is Stevie D signing off for now, and thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye for now.